The Ontario election debate live on Thursday. Global News joins a group of TV networks to show you your leaders in action. Before you cast your ballot, get to know the people who could run your province. Catch the debate on Global News starting at 6.30 this Thursday. And when you head to the polls in just over three weeks' time, you will, of course, have to vote for the candidate of your choice in your riding. But you'll also face another question at the ballot box, a question that could drastically alter the future of provincial politics. Shirley Engel continues our coverage of Ontario Votes 2007 with a look at what could be the most important vote you cast. Canadian Steve Withers has lived in New Zealand for over two decades, but he's come back home to convince Ontarians we need to adopt their electoral system. Parliament's become more diverse. Uh, women are now, uh, there are now 50% more women in the New Zealand Parliament than there were under the old system. It's called mixed member proportional, and on October 10th, you'll get to vote for or against it. You get to choose who you'd like to have as your, your local MPP and which party you'd like to have at Queen's Park forming government. And quite often there's a difference in people's attitudes about that. Here's how it works. Each election you'd get two ballots, one vote for a local MPP and one for a political party. Ninety members would be elected the old-fashioned way, called first past the post, and 39 would come from party lists based on the proportion of the popular vote. Those opposed to MMP worry it will further alienate voters. We already have pretty big ridings, and to make them even bigger, and then to create these lists which are province-wide, would really reduce whatever bond people have with the political system. Without the resources of the political parties, for both sides, getting the message out is going to be a big challenge. But the biggest hurdle of all is explaining to everyday Ontario voters exactly what the debate is all about. We were hard-pressed to find people who understood the issue on the streets of downtown Toronto. The question is so confusing that I think most people are going to get turned off. That's why Elections Ontario has launched a $6.8 million campaign to spread the word. It's slowly getting out. There are already dozens of groups on Facebook. But with millions of voters and only three weeks left, the word will have to spread a lot faster. Shirley Engel, Global News. Now, the MMP system will require at least 60% of the referendum votes to pass. If that happens, Ontario's new government would have until December 31st, 2008, to make it law. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, the story behind OJ's arrest and the outcome some people are hoping for. And